Hello, I'm Denny Warren with Selfish Boats, and today we're on the brand new 312 center console. Come aboard and let's take a quick look at it. Starting here in the aft starboard side of the transom area, you have your freshwater shower, pulls out. When you're coming off, off the beach or out of the water, you can rinse yourself off. Cup holders all the way across four. This little compartment here is actually an access to your plumbing fittings and hoses for maintenance. As almost all our models get, it's the retractable water toy toller, retractable mosquito bar. Easy access to inside the bilge compartment. Once again, for maintenance or, or replacing and water fuel separators. And that's the uh, ladder for the side door. Also, we have a seat here that's comfortable for two adults or three small children. And also on the starboard side, you have the fold out seat. Now working our way to the port side, you have your transom bait well. You got your day beach cooler where you can easily access from the beach or sandbar so you don't have to keep coming in and out of the boat. Once again, got cup holders, cleats, rod holders all the way across. And here's a, a knife, a flay knife or, or plier holder. And this is for your raw water wash down the hang. And here on the port side, we have the side door, dive door, tuna door, whatever you want to call it. Gordon ladder that we showed inside the bilge compartment, clips in, goes overboard. And you got your easy grab handle as you're coming up. Here approximately midship, we have uh, gunnel storage on both port and starboard. Nice place to put your gaff, rod, reel, a boat brush, boat chamois. And then the floor, we have also a port and starboard in for a fish box. Fully insulated, fully insulated tub, so it'll hold ice and the big catch for the day. And another neat feature on both port and starboard side is the tow rail. You hook your toes underneath there so you put your thighs up against the bolster so you can fight that big fish and bring them on in. On this leaning post here behind the helm seats. And right here in the leaning post is a 32 gallon live well. You got your fresh water sink and drain. Two cup holders. Some storage drawers. And on to the side over here, more storage. Little cubby hole there. Some tackle trays here. So well equipped leaning post that's built for fishing or family climbing. Starting with the dash, we have twin Garmin units and also the Yamaha Digital multifunction gauge as well. Fusion stereo, trim tabs. This one happens to have the Yamaha joystick steering. And if you notice how the dash is always laid out the selfish way, easy to operate, keeping hands on the throttles, not having to move to go around like that. The start buttons here, the safety tether here, got the foot locker there, which also houses the uh, battery charger and the uh, water tank for the windshield washer. Tilt steering makes it comfortable whether you're sitting or standing. Also with the dual captain chairs here, we got flip up and down armrest, flip up and down bolsters for comfortable for seating or standing up under operation. Also the captain's chair is power operated as well. Buttons over here on the side so you can pull it as far forward as you need it or as far back as you want, guys. Nice place to put cell phone keys, billfold. It's got a USB charge port so you can charge your phone. Up above, we got the switch panel that covers all the lighting that's overhead. 
Up here we have the Garmin VHF radio. So we got a nice little glove box here that you can store some keys or phone or whatever. All right, let's take a look inside the head console compartment here. Fully floored, you got your electric green head with overboard discharge capabilities. You also have your control panel for the head. You got your forward table storage. You got your battery compartment down at the bottom. That hatch opens up to access your free battery. And then you have your battery switch system with our smart charging VSR. Also, in the back part of this compartment, you have a hatch there, it has a mirror on it. Also, that hatch opens up to where you can access your electronics uh, for maintenance or add-ons. Anything you add on, you get a quick and easy access to the electric. As we make our way toward the bow area, you have a comfortable console forward helm seat here with a built-in insulated cooler. Two cup holders on each side and a couple of little cubby holes to store your phone or sunscreen. Coming forward, you have your rod holder here. That's that's nice for when you get your catch. You put it in there and open up the fish box and put your catch in there while you have your rod in that holder. Also got a cup holder, another place for sunscreen, cell phone. Also have a USB charger there for your, your smartphones. Total of eight cup holders coming all the way around. got the retractable forward-facing bow backrest, U-shaped seating. Also in the bow section here in between this U-shaped seating, there's a, another storage compartment. And it's got two recesses for five-gallon buckets or your cast nets, so it keeps them from sliding around. A lot of people use uh, egg weights and put them in five-gallon buckets. Nice place to store it here. In the very front of the bow, this, this boat is actually equipped with the optional bow rod holders. You got one on starboard and on the port side, and also it has the optional bow fresh water shower. So when you get your anchor up, you can rinse off your anchor and chain. Underneath this bow lid is where the windlass is housed. Also, you got your safety lanyard there so it won't deploy on its own underway. And you also have your manual up and down. Once again, safe boating.